so last portion of this, four movements to fix your squat. Guess what we're gonna do? Seesaw walk, you guessed it. So our focus now is gonna be on posture and position. We challenge posture, our position in the athletic position with external resistance of the barbell. Right now we are gonna practice the perfect initiation of the squat while maintaining your posture. Trust me when we say this, if you're unable to do this with this seesaw walk, I can't trust you as an athlete to put 450 pounds on your back. So, I'm going to go ahead and face the squat rack. Dealer's choice on initiation. So nothing changes, you've got that neutral, neutral chin, short rib cage, initiation with the posterior pelvic tilt, internally rotated on the up leg, athletic position bend, initiate when you're good. So she's going to kick, kick, kick that left heel up as far as she can, maintaining a good position. So we need that straight line. Go ahead and try to kick into my hand. Drive that heel to the back wall, but turn the knee in slightly. And notice, she's got an imaginary string on the top of her head, just pulling in this direction. So we have an active neck. Go ahead and fight for this position. I can apply different pressures as a coach. Notice she's fighting and pushing into my hand here, really turning that left knee in. So these are different ways to challenge a perfect position. I don't expect you to go up and push your athletes. Go ahead and relax, dig that heel in for a good recovery. So we need perfect squat initiation, short rib cage, and then we are challenging their midline stability, their posture, their position, with the stress, stress of just simply being active. This is an isometric hold for your trunk. Just like we want to do a pillar, we're finding different ways to do it, but now an active trunk with action, action at your leg, just like we need for the squat. So let's do one more good rep. What I'm having the man to do is really focus on that short rib cage reaching the top of her head through her shoulder blades in a straight line from her heel all the way through the top of her head. Just like a seesaw on the playground. It's really kick, kick, kick. Turn that knee in more. And try to drive this heel towards the wall. See how she wants to actually rotate there? She's gonna fight for it. Turn that knee in and still stay active. So straight line from her heel all the way through the top of her head. Reaching through, I can apply some pressure as a coach. Not enough to be a jerk, just enough to make sure she's in that good position. This can be any direction. All right, go ahead and dig, dig, dig to recover. So again, what we're working on. So we can do isometric holds with pillar, with different planks in the up push-up position, or side pillar, side planks, but we're actively, isometrically hold in our spine with action at your hip, just like you're gonna to have to do underneath the barbell. So we were priming the athlete to do exactly what we need them to do. So we're not just cueing them and willing them to do this stuff, we're priming their system so this just carries over seamlessly and effortless, effortlessly into the squat. All right, so those are four movements to fix your squat. Four, four, four seesaw walks? Yes. Four seesaw walks to fix your squat. All right.